Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're taking a look at the new GI Joe Night Attack four wheel drive stinger with the driver. Here's a packaging, looks freaking amazing. We do have the Cobra Ferret on the packaging, that looks beautiful. Some explosions, everything looks great. Loving that driver, looks pretty cool. Here's the back of the packaging, see everything you get. We're going to talk about this in depth. I'm going to show some pretty cool features, answer some of the questions that are out there. Um, throughout the collecting community, this is 120 of the GI Joe Classified series. Looks pretty decent. Some of the uh, bullet points here, some of the features, some of the ratings. It's probably for the driver, nonetheless. And if that helps you, there's the UPC. This is pretty much available everywhere, so shouldn't be a problem, especially online. I'm not sure they're available in stores yet, but I think we might be getting there someday. I do love the overall artwork of the Stinger driver. That's beautiful. I wish we get some kind of uh, posters or trading cards or something of this artwork. Something to keep that, you know, for our collecting. Now here's a little comparison of the uh, Vamp and the Stinger boxes. They're the same size. I'm not going to be able to get this in an entire one shot, but you can see as I roll up on these bad boys, they are pretty much the same. Very, very cool. Loving this. Now back at the box, we can see the comparison of what you get for the Stinger. And then versus the um, overall vamp. Many of us are asking why we're getting these rehashed blast effects. I think it's a piece count. Um, I'm not sure how it's done, but if you look at all the stuff you get with the vamp... They had to fill something in with the stinger because the vamp offers a lot. You have the gas tanks, the axe, the shovel, the fire extinguisher. The overall stinger stuff just has the missiles and maybe that deadly uh, front bumper. And but that's not enough to fill it in. So they, you know, they save money. They threw a bunch of uh, scrap irons that return them, bus effects in, and there we have a new product. That's my opinion. But overall, I think that's what's happening. It's just a piece of count just to fill it in. If you'd open up the box, this is how it's packaged inside. And here's a look at the overall cardboard. The body is wrapped, the tires individually packaged, the turret right there, and some other accessories are under this box right here. This is, you know, a standard locker box. On the left, upside down. But there you go. Pretty cool. All right, so attacking the bubble, and we're going to take a look at the driver first because it looks killer. Very cool. We have the uh, basically the officer um, just repaint, but the colors are popping. The grays, the reds, and blacks looks great. This is an African American um, figure, a character at least. I thought we were supposed to get an alternate head so you can choose between the Caucasian and the African American, but I don't think they. Uh, included that, I think they kind of scrapped it. So, but the head does turn 360 on a ball joint. You can look down and up, and then you have the side to side. Uh, the chest area, we do have this like this uh, harness across with the red pouch. Gives a little bit of color. I think this should maybe do a little better. So add a little more, you know, paint here to make a pop. Could be a signature there on a darker gray. Um, vest you can see the pads throughout the arm looks pretty good uh, black gloves arms do rotate around 360 they can get a t pose for the most point part um, on this arm we do have this i don't like this accessory but it's kind of a ring thing i think it looks like it's upside down but um, it is what it is but there's that design pretty cool um I think we talked about the arms going away around, up T-pose, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. For the wrist, they rotate 360 all the way around. There was a glove rotation also there. This is the in and out on that hand. And the, oh, we got one of each. This is the up and down on this hand like that. Um, you have the chest articulation, a diaphragm type here. Go back pretty far. And a crunch, but the harness kind of gets in the way a little bit in the belt, so it floats around. There's rotation at the waist 360. Um, he can do it a pretty decent split if you want to get a martial arts scene going. If that's your thing, you can. 
drop down hips, which always reminds me, do we have butterfly joints, which we do. I always usually forget about the butterfly joints, but they're there and mine's kind of stuck a little bit, but you can see the joint there, so that's pretty cool. Um, die cut 360, double jointed knees, looks pretty fluent for the most part. Is there a boot cut? There is a boot cut. If you do pivot down and up and then around the ankle, if that's something you so desire. Um, getting kind of crazy there. And maybe get some really cool figure photography images. But overall, a very nice looking driver. Nonetheless, very, very cool. The back here, looks like you can hold a good bit of his accessories. I'm not sure what's going on here. It might be for a clip. Um, I do have issues with one of the weapons we're going to talk about also, so this does keep falling down, so you may have to shove this as far as you can to get up into the shoulder. You might have to heat that a little bit, but inside that overall packaging with him in that clamshell, you do get a knife, which is silver, red handle, pretty cool. I like this. This is fantastic. Um, so he can definitely hold this dagger if you so desire, which is pretty awesome. And then we have a place to store it here on his hip, the side of his leg, I should say. And it goes in quite nicely. So something that's worth noting inside the weapons box, we have definitely moved away from the toilet paper and back in the plastic bags. So has for a whole attempt at that BS with the environment, you know, was nothing but a marketing ploy. So yeah, there is a plastic is returned full effect. On top of that, we do have this bag hidden inside the box with a bunch of stuff in it. It's like the accessories and the top of the stinger itself. So inside the plastic bag, we do get this uh, little clam shell with all of his accessories. So this is pretty cool. Well packaged, at least. So we do get this helmet. Looks pretty cool. Got the darker gray around the side and back. This goes over top of the character. And there he is, looking pretty tight. That's awesome. That's really, really nice. I love this figure. It's really good. So you do get this pistol. Old school type of pistol. There goes the driver. He's down. Taken out by a G.I. Joe sniper. Get him really light. And there's a place to keep it. Right here on its side. Looks pretty good. There you go. Looks awesome. I love you after all my accessories on my figure. We do get this gun case here. We've got a good machine there right into it. it. Looks pretty decent. We get this submachine gun. Looks pretty awesome. And you do get two clips. Here's the first one. And that just plugs, I believe, into the side here. Which is pretty cool. Nonetheless, that's pretty awesome. Now you can remove the clip. And it's the same thing as the... Uh, Officer, you gotta watch. Stuff that's in here is gonna bend your sights. So use it or not, that's on you. I don't recommend it. There's a little cut there for that one, but this one, you shove it down in there, it's gonna get bent. So just be careful. Remember, you heard it here in Blast Guys reviews. Well, this this is what irritates me about this, but I do love the red. It gives it ownership. Pretty cool, but don't get that scope or that flashlight that goes up there. That's stupid to have a big old hole in our gun. So that's definitely irritating. And the other clip you get, you can stick right inside your AK-47. But that's that's a shame. That is definitely one of the negatives to this overall set. Shame on you, Hasbro, for missing that. That's ridiculous. Now we're going to do a rapid fire of all the parts. We do have a yellow fire extinguisher here. We do have the motor cover with some detailing there. Pause and read that if you want to. The top of their stinger for a cockpit or you know, seating area. Pretty cool silver lights. And of course the deadly ramming bar. This is sick. I can't wait to see what that looks like. And then we have a combat spade. Pretty cool. Just a great piece of plastic. Some paint would have been nice to make that pop. We have the uh, standing plate for the back of the vamp. Pretty cool. And we have the turret. We have the peg system for the top for the missiles. Overall. And then of course you get the four rockets. Got the XO4 in there. Pretty cool. 
nonetheless these are actually quite big you see how they compare it with the figure in size and then we got the large blast effect we've seen with scrap iron still pretty cool they're quite you know quite large for the you know the size here's a shorter one we've seen except we've seen these before but those are cool at least and we get this blast effect here we got the smoke and the fire which makes sense here we have this maybe used as a peeling out type thing but fire and smoke there it's pretty awesome and leads us to the other problem with this set is these now this is a cool idea obviously these go for your, your rockets which is it would have been amazing but you know the fire does become come before the smoke so it has worked. that's a cheap cop out anybody's questioning this that doesn't make sense but you could use a however you see fit maybe you could just repaint it it could have just reversed the plastic but that's a pretty cool sight if it worked out but unfortunately it is what it is well, next up you do get these tires here is the rim we have the red rim piece around the tread i believe is not you know uh oriented in any specific way we'll compare that here in a second to the vamp but yeah don't worry about tread these go on however they fit nonetheless you get four tires pretty decent all right so this is the first time i'm actually looking at this it doesn't look like there's even any tread pattern specifically on the vamp I think it's going to be on the ferret is where everybody's getting confused. Everybody's on the side riding a bike today. Yeah, tires are the same. This is why I think everybody's getting confused. There is a tread pattern for the uh, ferret, not the vamp or the stinger. So yeah, that's what that's what's going on there. I think there's a misconception going on for the tire pattern at least. And here's a look at how the vamp is packaged. It just has a nice protective plastic on it. Looks pretty good. And there he is outside of his plastic prison, looking beautiful and pristine. Let's look at the doors, they're pretty awesome. You have the insignia there, pretty cool. A spider. We do have the gall wing doors that fold up with some red trim on the inside. That's amazing. Here's the rear well. Curve wing insignia. Looks pretty good. Side sculpting on the front steps, some paint, some decals, actually tampos inside there. We have the real, real, real working mirrors. If I can talk today, pretty cool on both sides. It's the back with the headlights, the headlights with the tail lights. Man, it's Saturday. What can I say? Long week, turbo right there on the back also there's a hitch for our mms S sms that's been heard being called to different things lately there's the top of the turn goes it says hot panel on it let's look underneath there at the back window some sculpting there looks pretty good a little bit of paint would be nice down inside you can see we have a river mirror steering wheel a lot of tampos inside that's beautiful so it should look very nice and then we have the front window tinted pops down you can see the seats inside looks amazing place for a shovel there's our engine there's the headlights guys there's our winch we have these hooks that pop down get the lights behind there looks pretty good that looks pretty nice chain hanging there ram bar awesome and then we have the uh, hook and you can just go ahead and wind that back up if you want to do that it's not very long i say about six eight inches or so something like that and the best i can tell this is pretty much the same as the other side and there we go with the rules applied it's pretty decent it does sit pretty high though and there's a shovel it goes down like this it doesn't show them in the instructions but uh, that's pretty much how it should go and here we have the supercharger pretty much applied here we have the ram bar applied it's pretty good and here's our roof looks good Fire extinguisher goes in a back window, which I don't think it's even in the instructions either. 
The trick to this is to keep that black band in the center, keeps them from falling out. All right, here's a rocket turret, applied pretty nicely. Uh, there's some articulation in there, so you can raise it up if you want to go higher. Pretty decent. And if silence, 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 the sense uh, apply to you, you can uh, use the rocket launchers with the blast effects and then the tower effect there if you want to use it like that. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. And then you can attach your back uh, panel and stand your troops on, but I don't recommend blasting your rockets with your troops on your back of your, or your stinger. And if you're wondering, this is how your SMS will attach to your stinger, just like this. And overall, that's how that looks. That's pretty sick, dude. Pretty nice. It's quite a large piece there, so take a lot of shelf space. And just so you know, you can't have your missiles face in the same direction as they kind of collide with each other. So that's unfortunate if you wanted that, that overall look. And there he is with the vamp. Pretty cool. Maybe do another video, a better comparison for these. That's pretty nice. Same size. Let's look at the instructions. The front. There's the back. And just opens up, shows you how to put the tower on and most of the stuff. Just one simple fold out. And as you can see, he sits in there perfectly. I do recommend opening the top of it putting him through the top and then because uh, you can get him through the side but it's quite difficult just worth noting I have this pistol and his knife in his sleeve and there's enough clearance to put the figure in there so it looks pretty damn cool all right there it is final thoughts pretty good couple little issues with the, the accessories and his reverse missile uh, blast effects but other than that this retails for like a 99.99 it's more of a wide um, right, wider availability because you don't have to get off Hazard Pulse. You can get off Amazon and your favorite online retailers. Do highly recommend this. It's worth the you know the hundred bucks in my opinion. It's quite you know quite large for what we're used to getting, but super cool. So I think these eventually sell fast. I think a lot of people are buying you know, more than one. I bought two myself. See people buying three and four of these things, but so don't don't wait on them at least. So hope you guys liked this review. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And we'll see you on Cooper Island.